Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Cole Kakamis and welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about some of my favorite desk accessories that I use on a daily basis in my content creation workflow. These are products that I'm absolutely in love with and they make my process go so much smoother. I've made a desk setup video in the past, but since then I've updated a lot of things and just improved as a creator overall. And so I wanted to make another video kind of talking about how I use all these things to make these videos. So first up is my keyboard, the Keychron K2. What's really cool about it is that it is both mechanical and designed for the Mac. You don't see a lot of those out there, so that's a really big perk. But if you are on Windows, there are some extra keycaps in the box that you can swap out. It has get around brown switches, so typing feels and sounds very pleasing. It's very affordable and comes in many different options, and mine came in at 70 bucks. They have a RGB lighting variant, but I went for the white LED one because I think it looks a lot better and fits into the aesthetic of my setup. It charges via USB-C, which is very nice because most of my tech these days uses it. As far as connectivity, it uses Bluetooth 5.1, so you can connect it to pretty much any device that you have, whether that be a computer, a phone, or even an iPad, but personally at the moment, I'm enjoying using my Magic Keyboard. There's three onboard profiles so that you can have all your devices connected and seamlessly switch between them. For me, I have my MacBook and PC on different settings, which is really nice when I go from editing photos to editing videos because I use Premiere on my Windows PC and Lightroom on my Mac. The battery life is really good, and for someone like me who uses my computer and keyboard very heavily, I only have to charge it every couple of weeks. And on top of that, if you turn off the backlighting, it'll probably last you even longer. Underneath the keyboard, I'm using the Orbit Key Leather Desk Mat. It looks and feels very high quality. I highly recommend that if you don't already have some kind of mat, that you definitely invest in one because it not only prevents from scratches, but also just gives you enough room to use both your keyboard and mouse and move them out of the way when you don't want to use them. On the top, you get this nice pen holder, which I really like to store my Apple Pencil so that it's not always on the side of my iPad. If you lift up the top half, you get access to a hideaway where you can store loose papers or other notes. And the last feature is the magnetic cable holder that you can use to better manage cables on your desk. Since I like to keep my workspace tidy and minimal, I use the 12 self book arc. It's a vertical laptop stand slash dock that allows me to use my MacBook like a desktop and connect it straight to my ultra wide monitor while using the Keychron K2 and my wireless Logitech mouse. The 13 inch screen on my MacBook isn't large enough for all the work that I do and I don't really like typing on the butterfly switches. On top of the monitor, I have a BenQ screen light bar which reduces glare and brightens up the area. The color temperature and overall brightness can easily be changed with the buttons on top. It's great for when I want to read or write at the desk and not have any trouble seeing. I get asked all the time where I got the clock on my desk. It's an Amazon Echo Spot, but unfortunately it was actually discontinued a little while back. This sucks because I'm really in love with this thing. Not only does the circle design just look really cool, it functions great as one of my three alarm clocks that I need to wake up in the morning. While I'm at my desk, I try not to use my phone too much so that I can just focus on my work, but the quad lock case allows me to mount it so that I can quickly glance to see any notifications that come through. It can also be rotated to watch full screen videos, which is nice when I'm eating lunch and want to catch up on some of my favorite creators. On top of that, it also wirelessly charges so that my battery never dies. Audio is probably one of the most important parts of my setup. Whenever I work, I'll always have some sort of music or podcast playing because it really helps me to focus and stay motivated. The Audio Engine A2 Pluses have been an impressive pair of wireless speakers that both look and sound great. I have these desktop stands for them so that they're pointed more towards my ears. The base isn't great, but for my use case, it's not that big of a deal. If it does matter to you, you can purchase a separate subwoofer. When I really want to get in the zone, I'll throw on my AirPod Pros and turn on noise cancelling. I gotta say, these are probably my favorite purchase in the last couple of years. The sound quality isn't out of this world, but the seamless connection between all of my Apple devices makes up for it. While most of my videos are filmed talking head with a on-camera boom microphone, Having a USB microphone, the AT2020, in the setup is really convenient. There's no need for any complex sound systems, it's just plug and play with my laptop or PC. It still sounds great and will definitely come in handy in the future as I plan to do some live streams on the channel. And if that's something you'd be interested in, definitely let me know in the comments. I have it attached to the Rode PSA1 boom arm, which is very pricey, but you do get what you pay for. 
It keeps it in place exactly where I want it, and I can easily tuck it away when I'm not using it. And the last accessory is a USB-C SD card reader from Belkin. I can quickly transfer photos to my Mac or iPad and video footage to my PC for editing. Recently, I've been trying to up the quality of my Instagram stories by taking photos with my Sony camera to document my daily journey. This dongle reduces the friction of getting the files over to my phone. Overall, these desk accessories have helped me to speed up my workflow when making videos or sharing photos. I highly recommend checking out these products for yourself, so I'll leave some links in the description. To those of you who've made it to this point in the video, I want to say thank you, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed, make sure to demolish the like button and consider subscribing to the channel to see more tech content from me in the very near future. With all that said, I'm out. Take care.